Hey, what's up? This is one of those five funny facts you didn't know about someone videos. I don't know why I'm doing it and if you're not into that kind of stuff and frankly I don't blame you, then stop watching now, okay? I was going to stick this on my response account but then I thought, what the buck? Wait a minute, that's another show, right? Anyway, here goes. And yes, I know, the beard, kind of weird. It's going soon, but not until I've got in touch with my inner hillbilly. Okay, fact numero uno. Moths freak me out. You know, moths, they're grey, they flap at you. That's kind of the problem. Um, not keen on them at all. Uh, my letterbox, my mailbox, uh, suddenly I'm all American, my mailbox on my front porch, true, uh, sits under a kind of porch light and in the fall, in the winter, um, in the autumn, when I flip it open to get some mail, there's always the possibility that there's a moth inside it that's going to be drawn to the porch light and that freaks me out. So there you go, fact number one, I really don't like moths. Fact numero two. I have no middle name and I kind of like that. Um, although when you're filling in forms and it has a space for your title and then your first name and then your middle name and then your other middle name and then your third middle name, you know, I have in total seven letters to fill in that whole thing. So fact number two, I have no middle name and I'm happy that way. Fact numero three -o. I like reading books, but I often don't finish them. For example, here's a book I was reading and enjoying, The Fortress of Solitude by Jonathan Letham. There are this many pages left, not many, this many. Um, I was really enjoying that book, but what happens is if I have to go on a commuter train ride and I know that I don't have enough book left uh, for the entire train ride, uh, lest, lest I be stuck with the terrifying possibility of being alone with my own thoughts, I, which would be horrible, right? Um, I pick up a new book and start reading it and never go back and finish the book that I never quite finished. And that's the case with almost all the books I read. So I read books up until the last 10 pages and then start a new book and never find out what happens in the end. Oh well. Fact numero four. Possibly also because I have ADD, I subscribe to a lot of magazines. I mean, everything. i have Wired, that's a particular favourite of mine. But I also get like GQ, Esquire. I get a lot of music magazines, even though I don't really buy or listen to a lot of uh, contemporary music. Um, I quite enjoy reading about it, nonetheless. I've read so many articles about bands that I'll never hear. Um, and that's kind of weird, but I do that. Um, I also subscribe to... Vanity Fair magazine for the articles obviously so there you go that's kind of a weird thing for me to read but I read it anyway um, I did at one point subscribe to Playboy for the articles um, in a sort of ironic sense but it wasn't really that interesting um, so eventually my subscription to Playboy has lapsed um, but I still get Vanity Fair for the articles so there you go fact numero five I used to have really long peroxide blonde hair. That's me there. Um, and as you can see, I'm wearing um, the same bandana that I wore for about a couple of years, almost every day, even to work, because I had my hair and I, I've hung on to it in case my hair ever grows back or I feel like pretending I'm Axl Rose for any length of time. Um, so there you go. I used to have really long Motley Crue style hair, used to wear this bandana constantly I did work for a cheesy heavy metal magazine at the time so that sort of makes it okay maybe maybe not I don't know there you go fact number five rock and roll hair this video is supplied for participatory purposes only I somehow felt I had to play along although I have infinite admiration for Dr Rusty Wigwam who gave the whole enterprise the big F you so there you go here's to you Dr Rusty so I was tagged by Ask Carrie Lee, by Dubai Edge and by TD Knuckle. Um, but I have to say that it ends with me because being the kind of person who assumes that everyone in the world is as grumpy and uncooperative as they are, uh, I just, I'm not going to tag anyone. It ends with me. Sorry Carrie Lee, but it really ends with me. See you next time. Cheers.